Hello, welcome back to my channel, Shanika's Cleaning Cleaning Services, and we are on the next video of our cleaning series. So let's get it. So first that we want to do, obviously, this is after you've already dusted top to bottom, and you would understand that as you continue to watch the series, but you're going to, you should have already removed all your items from the top of the counter. And what you, all you need is your Windex and your paper towel. You are not using any cleaning cloths, rags or things like that, just paper towels. Don't need a lot. I just have about four sheets, but even that you could do smaller than that. You could just do two sheets, okay? Have a good amount. What you're doing, okay, is you're spraying, not obsessively, that's about it. Okay, and we're wiping from the top to the bottom, back and forth. Okay. If you see any smudges, then you're just going to go over and buffer over it in a circular position. Okay, so I see here there's a bit I have to go back and buffer over. There's a little residue streaks not from the windex but from whatever maybe it was a type of cream or whatnot that splashed in the mirror okay all right so if there is anything that is not coming off buffer this is plaster here you would know i just experience that you don't want to be scratching the mirror if it's just something that can't be come, come off with Windex. Obviously, if you have some kind of plaster remover, you would use that depending on the surface. If this is a basic clean, then it will just be removing what's on the mirror that can be removed. If it's a deep clean, especially a move in, move out clean, then we'll take the, the, um, the detail approach to go on and remove the plaster, especially when it's a move in uh, clean where the client wants to just feel comfortable in their new home without, you know, having that that feel that you're still under construction, okay? So I'm just going back again, back and forth, making sure that I'm getting any smudges off. Notice that I did not put any more product. There's no need to. The cloth, the paper towel has enough product in it, okay? And there's that so what we want to do afterwards is step back because there's times that there's lint that may be or you know little part particles of paper towel that may be left back that's probably why people would use uh, newspaper back in the day because you don't have that or there are window cleaner cloths that would also eliminate that but again when it comes to cleaning service it's just easier more efficient to have paper towel okay so that's what you're going to do you just see if there's any lint that's where you can use a a cloth now to kind of brush off the lint if you do see any lint what you're not going to do is that step away you're done now okay because what can happen especially throughout your clean when we're going to clean the sink afterwards so check out that video how to clean your sink like a pro that it water can splash up you have the option to clean the sink first and then the mirror that's up to you but again you also always want to go back and double check because after the product is dried you may see streaks okay and then that's what you want to go back again not using product so you see little streaks here that's because obviously i was being more gentle here so i couldn't really be sure and go hard so that's probably why there was streaks but you're gonna go over with again. I did not put product again, okay? So if you put too much product on the mirror, on the on the paper towel, that's where you get the streaks from, that's where you get the watermarks from. You don't want to overdo it. There's no need to overdo it with products in that way, okay? So that's how you clean your bathroom mirror, any mirror, like a pro.